Vanessa. Oh, right. Yes. I think. Vanessa Might Simpson. Yes. <laughs> like Vanessa Simpkins. <laughs> but Vanessa Simpson. It's amazing. Yes. Yeah. So um, then that's exactly the reason why I had to do it. <laughs> um, my, my business before, so when I graduated high school, um, I did not, which is a whole big part of my purpose of creating a container in between when you graduate high school to college. I didn't want to make that financial investment with something that I feel is constantly evolving. And that's us. We're always constantly evolving. And, and I, um, closer. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, that I feel is constantly evolving. We are constantly evolving, and I didn't want to go invest that much time and energy, and I have so many friends that are like, yeah, you know, I'm a dental assistant, and I, I still don't know what my purpose is. I just had to choose something, and um, they're just not happy. They're just stuck in the system, and I was awakening during this time when, uh, be right before I graduated high school, didn't really think it was depression, not really sure, um, but I was just searching and searching and searching for something I didn't want to do the normal, uh, go to college, get your degree, pay your bills, retire and die type of thing. And <laughs> uh, we did not, <laughs> we, we, uh, we did not come here to pay our bills and retire and no, that's not. Um, so I went into massage therapy school. I was guided to massage therapy um, after my awakening, and uh, it was amazing. I got introduced to Reiki healing there. Um, my instructor was a Reiki healer, and so I started doing Reiki healings uh, and massage. And then after my dad passed away, 2017 of October, um, the day at, before our Hawaii trip, um, he passed away with an aortic aneurysm, had no, I, he was healthy, very healthy. and. It's just so crazy. I met Tyler, which is now my fiance, three weeks before he passed away um, at a festival in Oregon. Um, and then my dad passed away, which my dad was my, he is my best friend. He's still my best friend and guides me. Um, and it was the day before our Maui trip and it was me and my dad's trip. And we've been planning it for like six to eight months or so, um, my dad was pretty depressed and anxious for the last four years that he was alive until like the last like six months, six months or so, um, financially trying to get his head above water. So I've watched my dad struggle financially um, for oh, most of my, not most of my life, but probably like 13 to when he passed, um, just or right before he passed. And you're him. young. How old are you? I am 20 years old, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, yes, clap, clap, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 20. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, watching him struggle financially was huge, and um, being a kid, I wanted to release the pain in whatever way, so I, I mean, I was like 14, 15, looking for a job, just trying to help my dad with, uh, with bills, and, um, and so I got into massage therapy school, then my, my dad passed away, and then I, um, we, me and Tyler ended up going to Hawaii together, uh, which was crazy, because I, I, when I asked my dad, hey, can, can Tyler come with us to Hawaii? It was scary. My dad, like, I'm asking if this strange man I just met a couple weeks ago can come with us to Hawaii, and my, my dad was like, um, you know, something's, usually I would never ever do this, and I would, uh, but there's something telling me that I need to let this happen, and um, so it ended up working perfectly, all within divine timing, and then eventually um, I started channeling my dad, and he was telling me why it had to happen the way it did, but I mean, what better place to spend your grieving time than in the heart yeah, chakra Hawaii. of the world, Maui, Hawaii, right? <laughs> uh, so I'm very grateful for it, and um, then shortly after, I, uh, was brought to a medicine woman school of the healing arts my first spiritual teacher sarah walters and i um was learning how to develop my psychic abilities my intuition uh learning how to conduct a healing session it was all a very intuitive process from there and i started um doing healings and i was starting at like first it was just a donation then it was twenty dollars and it was thirty dollars and sixty dollars and then I was developing so much and was getting these constant downloads. I wanted to create a um, program. And I was like, I know I wanted to do it, and I just wasn't sure how. 
Uh, and so I was asking like, okay, I'm ready for a business coach. That's the way I wanted to go. And then um, usually when I would see Vanessa's ads, it was bikini business coach, but then I was seeing Vanessa Simpkins and I'm like, holy shit, like that's weird. <laughs> that's weird. And then the, her, her webinar um, was exactly what I was looking for. So I went to go watch her webinar. And when I went to go watch her webinar, it was 1037 and my dad, 37 is my dad's spirit number. He passed away at 837. So he communicates in 37s. So it was 1037 when I went to go watch the webinar. And then um, after I was done watching it, like the showers and tingles that I was getting and my dad's like, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this. And I was like, holy shit, like it was scary. And then I have never been the uh, a one to make decisions for myself. I mean, I'm, I was, how old am I? So I was, yeah, exactly, uh, 20 years old, having to make decisions, learning to make decisions for myself. No one was home when I had my breakthrough call. <laughs> and I was like, who do I turn to to make this decision for me, you know? And it, I also was using my dad's life insurance to um, pay for the program. So, Smart. Right, yeah, that's what my dad wanted me to use it for. And, uh, but I was still, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I was freaking out. I was walking around my room, like, why isn't anyone here to make this decision for me? And, and then I just, I have my dad sitting um, in my room and I just looked at it and my, I'm like, dad, do I do this? And my dad's like, yeah, you do this. And I'm like... Okay, so I did it and it has been the biggest transformational journey I have ever experienced in my whole entire life. The the dedication, like it, it create like your program created a monster in me, like just dedicated, like fierce, just just going for it and create and Definitely intuitive. I didn't know really what I wanted to create a program around. I also work with the chakras as well. Um, so I'm a soul purpose, intuitive soul purpose clarity coach and uh, Reiki master. And so that's, I help souls find their soul purpose. And that's because that's what I've figured out to do at a very young age. And um, so then right before I entered the program, I signed my first client for $3,000. Paid in full. Easy piece of cake, no resistance. He was like, "Yep, let's do it." And I'm like, "Wow, that like it was blew my socks off. It was amazing." And then right after I joined the year long, because I was like, "I can't, this cannot stop." And I told my mom, "I'm like, this is my college. You know, I, don't worry about it. I'll pay for it." Smart. Um, <laughs> so that it keeps me responsible. And um, then right after I joined the year long, I signed another client for $3,500 paid in full. Wow. And it's just been this ongoing process of just transformation. And being able to be with the ladies that are making, you know, close to $100,000, $50,000 a month is like, that's th that alone is just so amazing to be able to congratulate these ladies on their abundance and their impact that they're making in the world is just amazing and i'm so grateful so yeah <laughs> big round of applause amazing thank you for sharing vanessa can you imagine where he would be if you had done this at 20 years old okay 